Welcome to the worship service this evening. Our um, thanks go to uh, Connie and Scott for live streaming tonight and to Lori LeCong for uh, being our musician. We hope that the message of a savior will bring you comfort and give you hope this season. Jesus Christ cares deeply about all who mourn or struggle with difficult memories this season of joy and celebration. So may you find peace and solace in our loving God and Father, our Savior Jesus Christ, and our Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious God, guide us through this season of anticipation and hope. Comfort our troubled minds and strengthen our tired bodies. Restore the hope this season offers that we might lift our voices with strength and joy. Straighten the crooked paths that we might walk in your ways. Level the rocky ground that we might prepare for your arrival in our world. In Christ's name we pray, amen. The words of hope from Matthew chapter 11. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The first candle is lit. We gotta push it on. There we go. We light this first candle in memory of those persons we have lost through death. We remember them by name in our hearts or out loud. We give thanks for them and for their lives. We treasure their memories in this difficult season. The second candle is lit. We light this second candle to ask for deliverance from the pain of loss. All of the losses we face that bring sadness and darkness to this time of year. The loss of relationships, the loss of health, the loss of jobs, the loss of financial security. We ask that God bring us comfort. We realize that the pain of loss can be heightened at this time of year, and we ask for peace and renewal.
The third candle is lit. We light this third candle for each of us. We offer up to God our pasts, the times of regret and sorrow, the times of mourning, the difficult memories, the times of grief and sadness, and of loneliness and pain. We ask that God take away the darkness. The fourth candle is lit. We light this fourth candle as a symbol of hope and promise. We invite and celebrate the coming of the one who promises us no more suffering, the one who promises us light. Jesus spoke saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. From John 8, 12.
Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray, amen. Words of Hope from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we selves ourselves are consoled by God. Thank you. Thank you. 
prayers of the people. Let us pray. God, we come to you as Christians, dawn with pain growing inside us. As the nights have been growing longer, so has the darkness wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of our longest nights, we offer to you the pain in our hearts, the traumas that some of us cannot put into words. Loving God, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. Compassionate God, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been, a death or loss that has changed our experience of Christmas. Once it was a special day for us too, but someone has died or moved away. Or we have lost a job or a cause. We find ourselves adrift, alone, and lost. Lord, help us find our way. Loving God, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. The Christmas season reminds us of all that used to be and cannot be anymore. The memories of what was, the fears of what may be stifle us. All around us we hear the sounds of celebration, but all we experience is a sense of sadness. Please be near us this night. Loving God, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. Let's pause for a personal prayer to God. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever, amen. Loving God, hear our prayers, and in your merciful love, answer. Words of Hope from Isaiah 43. But now thus says the Lord, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you, because you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you. Affirmation of our hope. Generous and gracious God, we look to you for compassion and thank you for your presence this night. Overwhelmed by our burdens, we easily forget that you never leave us and that your constant love for us never falls. By coming together, we find assurance and comfort that we do not suffer this longest night alone. You have given us strength to live through this night. Turn us to reach out to those whose night is also long. Amen. <clears throat>
Almighty and all-knowing God, to whom all things in heaven and on earth bow and obey, be with you now and evermore. May God's great compassion and steadfast love light your way and be a beacon in your life. Know this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Feel free to take the time that you need to sit here and, and meditate and pray. And uh, when you're finished, you, you can go into the fellowship hall for uh, some f snacks uh, and, and a chance to visit. And I thank our Stephen ministers for putting the service together and, and putting it on tonight. Thank you. 